Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will say a problem on Simpsons 3A rule. See the statement of the given problem. Apply Simpsons 3A rule to evaluate integral whose limits are 0.2 to 1.4 and a given function is sin x minus log x to the base e plus e power x dx. So we should find out the definite integral of this function within the limits 0.2 to 1.4. So, already we know that we can apply Simpson's 3 -th rule only when the number of subintervals of the given range should be multiple of 3. So, let us divide the range 0 0.2 comma 1.4. Okay, range is nothing but limits of the given integral into 6 equal parts. Everybody knows that 6 is a multiple of 3. You can take Number of subintervals as 12 equal parts, no problem. Okay. So, the number of subintervals is denoted with n, n is equal to 6. Now, we have to find out the h value. The value of h is equal to b minus a by n. b is nothing but upper limit, a is nothing but lower limit. So, 1.4 minus 0 0.2 by 6. Okay. You will get 0 0.2 by using scientific calculator. So, now we consider the following data. Now, we consider the following data for x and y. Okay. Take x values. And what is y here? y is nothing but given function which is sin x minus log x to the base e plus e power x. Okay. Now start the x values from lower limit which is 0 0.2 and we have to add plus h to lower limit. What is h value? 0 0.2. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Every time you should add plus h again. So you will get 0 0.6. Similarly, next value is 0 0.8. And next one is 1. So next value of x is 1.2. We can continue this processor until, until to get the upper limit, which is 1.4. 1.4 is the last value of x. Now we have to find out functioning values of y at various values of x. This is x0, x1, x2 and so on. This is x6. Okay. We can obtain these all values by using scientific calculator. Now, I will give you a super trick here. See. We can obtain this entire table values by using scientific calculator with a single operation. Look at here carefully. So, by operating more, we have an option which is table, which is 7th point. So, we can select 7 now. So, what is f of x? Why our f of x is nothing but our given function. So, sin x rcl and operate this button. You will get x simple. Minus log x to the base is nothing but ln of x. Close the bracket. Finally, we have e power x, so which is shift ln. You get e power and we have to type x here, rcl and this button. It is e power x is equal to, operate is equal to now. So, what it is asking that what is starting value? What is the starting value of x which is 0 0.2 which is also known as lower limit? So, you can operate 0 0.2 now and again is equal to what is the ending value of the x values 1.4 1.4 is equal to so what is the step step is nothing but step size otherwise interval difference which is also 0 0.2 here so operate 0 0.2 is equal to c directly table values appear in this display okay at 0 0.2 Functioning value is 
zero two nine five. Second one at zero point four. See, look at here. At zero point four, the functioning value is two point seven nine seven five. Next at zero point six, it is two point eight nine seven five. So by pressing down button you will get functioning value at 0.8 is left hand side we have x values right hand side right hand side column values are functioning values which is 3.1660 at 1 functioning value is 3.5597 okay at 1.2 it is 4.0 Six nine eight. At finally, at one point four, the functioning value is four point seven zero four one. So in this way, we can get the table value directly by using scientific calculator. Okay. Now put the names for functioning values, which are y not, y one, y two, y three, y four, y five. Y six. So immediately write the Simpson's three eighth rule for given data. So according to the Simpson's three eighth rule for given data, we have the given integral becomes integral zero point two to one point four. Write the function which is sine x. Minus log x to the base e plus e power x whole dx is equal to 3h by 8 of y not plus sum of first and last sum of first and last ordinates which are y not plus y6 plus 2 into sum of ordinates between first and last which are multiple of 3 we have only one term which is y3 plus 3 into We have to add remaining all terms. We have to add remaining all terms, which are y one, y two, y four, and y five. These are all the remaining terms between first and last. Now replace these all values by using above data and calculate that value. Three times of what is h value? Zero point two over eight. Bracket open. First and last ordinates, which are three point zero two nine five plus four point seven zero four one. Close the brackets. Plus two times of y three. What is two times of y three? Three point one double six zero plus three times of y one. Two point seven nine seven five plus y two. Two point eight nine seven five plus y four. Which is three point double five nine seven plus y five, which is four point zero six nine eight. Okay, close the bracket. By using scientific calculator, we can get this value now. See. So already in our display of the calculator, we have this table. So to erase this operation, we have to Operate more and one. So now, previous operation is erased. So first of all, calculate the value which are inside the square brackets. Bracket open. Three point zero two nine five plus four point seven zero four one. Close the brackets. Plus two times of three point. One double six zero. Close the bracket. Plus three times of two point seven nine seven five. Plus two point eight nine seven five. Plus three point double five nine seven. Plus four point zero. Six nine eight. Close the brackets. Is equal to the value of the square bracket is this one into three times of point two is directly zero point six is equal to 
now we have to divide the entire value with the 8 so divide it by 8 so you will get 4 point 4 point 0 5 to 9 right in the bracket approximately because this is an estimated value it may be not exact value okay this is the problem on Simpson's 3a rule one more important point is since the given function has trigonometric term don't forget to keep your scientific calculator in radiance mode which is very very important okay thank you very much see you to the next hour